I am Anil Kumar and here is unit test 2 equivalent algebraic expressions test paper. We will discuss these questions one by one. In unit test 2 we have two parts. One part is polynomial expressions. The other one is rational which may become very tricky at times. Now algebraic expressions especially the polynomial ones you have been learning since grade 9 so you have good skills and may be in a position to do them fairly well. I'll just take a few examples which are kind of more difficult than what you had been doing in grade 9 and 10. Well here are two questions from the test paper which I'll take which is part 2 and part 3 right and then we'll have few more which will deal with fractions. So let's begin with these questions. So the first one here is expand and simplify 5 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 minus 2x plus 1 whole square. So I have taken two questions on this page. So we'll solve both of them. The other one is x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now I have purposely taken these two questions here to remind you of a strategy. I hope you remember that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now it's very important to know this formula. You can actually expand and then see that these two are equivalent expressions, right? So we'll utilize this and save some time to expand and simplify the given polynomial expressions, right? So we have 5 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 minus 2x plus 1 whole square. So this is like a plus a minus b times a plus b. So I can write this as a square minus b square. So I'll expanding and then writing this as x square minus 2 square is 4. Correct? Now the other half, the second term here is a plus b whole square, correct? So you can always multiply 2x plus 1 by 2x plus 1 expand and do it, but it's a good idea to use the formula, right? a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So let's do that. a square means 2x square. So 2 square is 4 and then x square plus 2 times both these terms will give you 4x plus b square which is 1. So application of these formulas help you expand and simplify faster. Now first term is to be multiplied by 5 so we can write this as equal to 5x square minus 20. When you open the bracket change all the signs since negative is outside right. So minus 4x minus 1. Now we'll combine the like terms 5x square minus 4x square. Let me write them together first. 5x square minus 4x square. Then we have minus 4x minus 20 minus 1. Now let us combine them. 5x square minus 4x square is x square. And then we have minus 4x minus 21, right? So two formulas we have used here. One is a minus b times a plus b equals to a square minus b square. The other one is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So remember these formulas, we need to know them even for doing factoring, correct? Which is also part of this unit. Now let us see how to expand when three factors are multiplied. So we have x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now you will notice that we have product of sum and difference. It is better to reorganize first, right? And then expand. And that's the whole idea why I took these two questions together. In the first one, they were already done for you. Now if they are not, you should first reorganize. So we have a plus b times a minus b, which is a square minus b square, right? Times 2x minus 1. Now we can apply the distributive property. 
expand and simplify. So x square times 2x gives us 2x cube minus x square that is when you multiply these two the negative one of these will be negative 2x plus 1 so you just have to change the signs. So now that is already simplified there are no like terms to be combined here right. So that is the simplest possible form of the given expression. I hope that helps right and review your formulas right a plus b whole square a minus b whole square and a plus b times a minus b. So let's move on and do few more questions on algebraic expressions. Thank you and all the best.